<laughs> if y'all could see this Jimmy rig setup that I've got going on here. Let me put this lapel mic right here on these drawstrings, get the microphone set up. So I'm in Louisiana. For those of you that didn't know, I'm traveling, going to a bodybuilding show, sports and friends, but on my way out, I checked the mail and I had a package from Michael Dinsmore and I thought, you know, I have this package of fragrances that probably like three or at least three or four, I would think three or four fragrances from Michael Dinsmore. He does great work. Blew my mind with Juicy Maximus recently. That's the best of house. Try that. Dolce & Gabbana Pineapple mixed with Aventus 13 ZZ01. Probably the best fruity opening top note I've ever smelled. But I always have test strips with me. I always have an emergency let's record some content set up that I can make in Jimmy Rig, which I did. So we're going to smell some fragrances. Stay tuned. Don't have my knife with me. We just tear. Savagery. Thanks. Thank you as always, brother. Enjoy. Ah, oh, he stepped his game up. He actually vacuum sealed it. So uh, it's not wrapped with cellophane like normal. So I might actually need a knife to cut this open. One sec. Ha! There was a pin near. All right, so I have no idea what he sent. Let's see what we're working with here. Gotta say, he made this uh, not easy for them to come out. There's three fragrances, so that's nice. Let's see what we have before we start sniffing stuff and diving into them too far. We have So Fresh and So Clean. I believe that's his new original barbershop fragrance. I wanna say I saw a post on Facebook he made about it. I didn't see any notes, but I think this is his new original barbershop. We also have Unaveraged Cherry. I was hoping to try this one. Combination of Unaverage Patch with I'm going to assume Lost Cherry. Ah, I wish you wouldn't have put all the damn glitter. So, just quick word, guys. If you're wearing, like, white shirts and stuff like that, and you have the glitter-heavy ones, don't spray your clothes. I've had a bad experience. Not with Making Sense. Different brand. It had heavier glitter than this. So, I'm not a fan of the glitter stuff. Like, a little touch of it, sure, but that much? A little too much for me. But we're still going to smell the fragrance. Then last, we have Iris Man Intense. Okay, we're saving that for last. This is Prodolome Intense. So one of my absolute favorite fragrances that Mike has made, shout out to Mikey Densmore, Iris Man, which is Prodolome. Okay, took him several tries before he got where he got it where he wanted it. And I can tell you firsthand, I did a full review on that one and everything. It was so good it warranted a full review beyond something like this. It smells like if you took Prodolome, which is an eau de toilette, and just cranked up the oil concentration to X straight 30 to 40% level, whichever he did. I know it's over 30. So you lose a little bit of brightness and projection, but severe longevity increase, that's what Iris Man is. So I'm expecting pretty much the same damn thing for Prodolome Intense with Iris Man Intense. We're gonna save this one for last. Let's check out the barbershop one first. Always have a few Zaharoff test strips laying around. So we're going with So Fresh and So Clean. Now, since I'm recording on my phone, I can't cross reference the notes like I typically would. Hope that ceiling fan's not affecting the audio too much. We'll see. I'll see in the playback when I'm editing, I guess. So this is all just going off of what I think I smell in post. When I'm editing, I'll put the notes on screen from the website, but just know I have no way of checking them whatsoever. Lemon heavy. Very lemon heavy aromatic. A lot of citrus, like a juicy lemon, like a lemon heads kind of lemon, like Rocious. Which one is it? Rocious, not Rocious Loam. Um, Moustache, EDT. Not the Eau de Parfum. The Eau de Parfum smells kind of like YSL Tuxedo. The Eau de Toilette is like a lemon heads, candied lemon barbershop type of fragrance. Rocious Moustache. 1949 EDT, I believe is the full name of the fragrance. That's the kind of lemon I get here, that Lemon Heads Candy Lemon, which I don't find in a lot of barbershop fragrance. Normally there's some form of lemon or citrus, but it's a candied lemon. I like stuff like that. Gives a little touch of juicy sweetness at the top. It's not your typical sharp and astringent lemon, which is a nice change of pace. 
and there's some spice starting to settle in. Now, ideally, I don't like to, I prefer to do on skin, but given the situation, we're just doing test strips. Oh, this is beautiful. It's actually not super spicy. I mean, it could be just falling flat on the paper. Obviously, it'll be a different experience on skin, but the freshness of this fragrance is really taking the center stage on the test strip. That's pretty much what I'm getting here. It's a candied, juicy, yet candied lemon. And not super sweet, but it's, when I say candied lemon, I mean a, su I mean a sweet lemon. Almost like a sugared lemon, hence the lemon heads tie-in, which is a synthetic sugar lemon, sugary, lemony smell, you know? This is nice. A little bit of a sha shaving foam vibe on the paper, but not super spicy, but I can tell there's some something spice hanging out in the background. I don't know if it's peppery, if it's green spice or what. It's hard to tell on the test strip, but it remind that's the only thing it reminded me of immediately was that that Rocious Mustache EDT. Uh, in the top on skin, I don't know how close it would be, but pretty damn good. If I was to give this just a first impressions rating here in the first few minutes, I think it's a solid 7.5 out of 10. Very good. I mean, it's hard not to like a barbershop fragrance. When in doubt, spray an air, a spicy aromatic. Just run with that. Aromatic fougere, spicy aromatic, citrus aromatic of that classic masculine style. You can never go wrong. This is a timeless style. There's no such thing as a bad barbershop fragrance, in my opinion, no matter how cheap, how expensive, how synthetic, how natural, top tier blend, whatever. They all smell great. I, it's just a personal taste thing, and I, I firmly believe that. That candied lemon smells winning me over, though. But I'm going to go with 7.5 out of 10 for So Fresh and So Clean. Love the name. All right, I got some high hopes here. Let's shake up the glitter for you guys. <laughs> Unaverage Cherry, shout out to my man in Unaverage, Joe, Joe Anthony. For all your niche shopping needs, please check out Joe Anthony at Bloomingdale's. Let's see what we're working with here. Especially for your holiday niche perfume shopping. Whew. Okay, I get the Sour Patch Kids right away, and a lot of it. That sour candy smell. Because Unaverage Patch... For those of you that have never heard me speak on it before, it's a very situational fragrance because it's synthetically candied sweet at the top and sour and starts to smooth it out greatly into this beautiful vanilla base. Whew, I'm getting that early right here though. It's like a candy chip, like um, you know those um, the orange slice, like the gummy sugar coated candy, they're like semi-circles with a little, like, to look, resemble an orange slice, but they have the cherry ones. That's the kind of cherry I get here. And it's because of the unaveraged patch DNA mixing with whatever kind of cherry blend is going here. That's why it's doing that. Because unaveraged patch is, I don't know if there could be a more realistic Sour Patch Kids smell, because Sour Patch Kids is kind of the same type of candy. It's that gel-like with the sugared coating to it. But here... It's like mixing Sour Patch Kids with the cherry slices. Which the cherry slices I like way more, which I like lemon slices too, way more than the orange ones. You can get the variety, they got grape, they got a green one. I don't remember if that's lime. I say it's lime, but. I, it's better than Unaverage Patch. I know there's a bunch of other blends that he's done with Unaverage Patch. I haven't tried any of them before this, just the original Unaverage Patch. Look, but I got I interrupted myself saying that I think that's a fun night out fragrance. Casual evening, going to Top Golf, bowling, going shoot pool, have some drinks, go and catch a movie, that kind of night. Just a fun casual night. That's where I think it really shines, and I think this goes right there with it. Perfectly unisex, you gotta have a sweet tooth. It's a sweet tooth type of fragrance, it's candy sweet. It's a delight to smell. This is like an 8.5 out of 10. This, this is this is fantastic. This is better than Unaverage Patch. Yeah. I think they have Unaverage Sweet Tooth or something like Unaverage Peach, which I would assume is Bitter Peach's DNA with Unaverage Patch. This is that jam, though. I just wish it didn't have all that glitter. Might not be too bad, but it smells amazing. This is definitely the one to beat. 
is going to be hard to beat. 8.5 out of 10 for an average cherry. All right, so this is the one that could be the highest rated in the video. Who knows? We'll see. Michael Densmore's take on Prodolome Intense. Mm, I don't know. Let me grab a test strip. See what we're working with. Atomizer's lined up. It's all in the details, guys. It's always a nice touch. Three good sprays. See what kind of magic we have here. I, I have super high hopes for this because he totally nailed Prodolone when he did Iris Man. He nailed it. It's spot on. This has that leathery, moist patchouli smell. On a test strip, it smelled, it seems like he did really good. When I get back home, I have to do a side by side. Because I'm gonna wear this and I'm gonna have to do a side by side with Prodolone Intense because. Like I said, he nailed Prodolone, Iris Man as he calls it, so well that I did a full review on it. And if that ends up being the case here, I'm going to end up doing a full review as well. Because sometimes they just deserve their own video, and on average, Cherry might deserve one too. On average, Patch got one. Very much a patchouli soapy Iris. It's, it smells just off of scent memory alone at least 90% accurate. This is on a test strip. This is in the moment. I can't just grab Prodolone Intense to do a side-by-side -side on skin or even on test strip, but it smells like he nailed it. A little bit of spice, not much, but I get that soft, moist, earthy smell, that patchouli leather combo with that soapy, powdery iris note that Prada uses in the line. I do get a touch of spice though that I don't recall getting much of in Prodolome Intense, so that might be a slight difference. It could just be the test strip on skin might tell me a different story. That's usually the case, but anybody that's been looking for Prodolome Intense, you don't have to pay the resale prices. You get the 17 ml for probably 20 to 30 bucks. That's not counting whatever holiday specials Mike's going to be running. He always runs something. 9 out of 10. First impressions, because as far as I can remember, it smells like the only thing I'm even trying to tell myself might be different is I feel like I'm picking up a little bit of spice on the test strip that I don't recall getting from actual Prodolome Intense. But again, this isn't side by side, and it's not on my skin. It smells pretty damn accurate just based off of my recollection of it. Obviously, I'm going to do some further testing when I get back home around my bottle of Prodolone Intense, but 9 out of 10 because, for those of you who don't know, I hold Prodolone in general, let alone Prodolone Low and Prodolone Intense, just the line as a whole, the DNA, in the highest regard because my first Iris fragrance was Prodolone. And for those of you who have been watching for a while, you know Iris is my favorite note in perfumery, both the fantasy Iris note that you find in these designer fragrances all the way up to the more earthy, uh, violety, rooty type, rooty type of smelling natural Florentine iris. I just love iris, the waxy stuff, the powdery stuff, the earthy stuff. I love it. And Prodolome is what started that love for me. It was my first dipping my toe in fragrance with iris. So this DNA as a whole just special to me. And that includes Prodolome Intense. Great job, Mike. Nine out of ten. Well, that's a quick first impressions, about as quick as it could be anyways, because first impressions, I kind of want to deep dive as much as I can to really give you my full thoughts, but all three really good. Barbershop, you know, well above average without being amazing, outstanding standout. It does remind me in the opening a little bit of one fragrance, but it, I mean, on skin, I can't really tell, but that's all I could really tie it to. On average cherry, better than on average patch, in my opinion, just in this first impression. Uh, and then Iris Man Intense. It smells pretty spot on to me. I'll up you, update you guys as I wear it. Uh, but hmm, until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. So I do appreciate all the feedback. and I love hearing from you guys. How many of you tried any of these three, and what do you think about them? Very curious, because obviously this is just a first impression on the test strip. Not going to be my full thoughts. Got to do some wearing experiences and such. Really live in the siage, if you will. And might end up getting some full reviews out of it. You know, at least one of these. Possibly two of them. Maybe all three. You never know. We'll see how it goes. But until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of these three and you give them a spray now, it's always a chance you might thank me later. Have a good one, guys.
Yeah.